Assignments. The tab for submitting assignments will be available two weeks from the due date and available a week after the due date. Just note that you'll lose 3% off your final mark per day for every day you submit your assignment late. That means if you submit your assignment four days after the due date, you'll lose 12% of your assignment. Should you not be able to submit an assignment for any reason, a valid document needs to be submitted to prove why you could not submit your assignment on time. A valid doctor's note will be an example. Scroll down until you see a button named Choose File. Click on the button and select the appropriate assignment you wish to submit. You might also be prompted to tick an Honor Pledge box. The Honor Pledge confirms that you, as a student, did the work with no help from anyone and that this is entirely your own work. Once you have submitted your assignment, your Turnitin report will start to generate. Turnitin is Cornerstone's plagiarism checker. Turnitin will not only work against you, but it'll also work with you to indicate where you might have committed plagiarism. It'll also pick up plagiarism when someone else uses the work that you have published and reference you as the original author. Your Turnitin report will start to generate when you submit your assignment. It may become visible within 3 to 12 hours. Should you not receive your report in that time, please log a ticket for Funda support. How to interpret your Turnitin report? Your report should show areas where similarities have been found. This report will also indicate from which source a plagiarism is. This will enable you to better understand how plagiarism works and how to avoid it in the future. You're allowed a maximum of 10% plagiarism on your assignment. Anything more than that, you'll be penalized. We next look at tests and quizzes. With this tool, you'll be able to write some of your tests and quizzes online. There are multiple types of tests that you may be able to take, including multiple choice questions, true or false, or essay type questions. We will now move on to the discussion forums. Think of a discussion forum as something similar to a round table discussion, where you will have a number of people sitting around a table discussing a variety of topics. This is exactly the same as discussion forum. Only you and your fellow students will be able to type your responses and read other students' replies. You will have a forum, usually a graded forum, and you will have a topic under that forum. The forum itself is just a category under which your topic that you'll be commenting on falls. Depending on the course that you're studying, you might find different types of topics that you'll post on. We encourage you to speak your mind and post what you feel in relevant topics. We, however, do not condone any hate speech or crude language of any kind, and we would like to ask you to be respectful at all times. We now move on to the chat room tool. This tool enables you to have an informal chat with fellow students or your lecturer. Think of this as the same way you would walking around campus, where you would have a chat with a student or lecturer for a few minutes in the day. You'll be able to chat about anything here, anything from Cornerstone related news or general chat. 